What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today's gonna be a quick video where I'm gonna go over how to install WordPress. So I have a Bluehost hosting account. The first thing you're gonna to need to install WordPress is a domain name. So right here is my domain name, surfsidedigitalmarketing.com. And you can see I'm using a VPS hosting plan through Bluehost. So there's a lot of different hosts that you can choose from, but where you wanna get started is signing up for a domain name and a hosting plan. So once you have a hosting plan, and you can just use shared hosting, which is generally pretty inexpensive every month, but what you wanna do is you wanna install WordPress on your domain name. So this video is gonna go through this article right here, how to install WordPress, and go through the step-by-step -step process of installing WordPress on your own web host. Now, one thing to keep in mind is right here, you can see many web hosts now offer tools, for example, Fantastico to automatically install WordPress. If we come over to Bluehost, you can see right here in my hosting, in my cPanel, they have install WordPress as the second option right here. So I can just go through this process and install WordPress on my domain name, any of the domain names that I have in my account. But what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna come over here to wordpress.org slash download. So I'll put this URL and this URL directly into the video description so you can easily find it. But what I'm gonna do is come over here to download and they'll always have the most recent version of WordPress on this wordpress.org slash download page completely free. So you just can see here priceless and also free. So what you're paying for is your web host. You can download WordPress 100% free on your web host. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this button, download WordPress 5.3. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna download this file directly to your computer, WordPress 5.3. And when you open this file, what you're gonna see is there's just gonna be one folder in here, WordPress. So if we come over here, you're gonna see this is gonna be the folder, so it's gonna be WordPress, so we're gonna open this, and it's gonna be all of these files. So what you wanna do is take these files and you wanna send them to a compressed zip folder. So I've already done this, and if you, we come back over here, you can see I have my WordPress install file. If we open up this compressed file, you can see we have all of these files within that one. So now this is the one that, that I'm gonna be uploading directly to my server. So I already have this all downloaded and ready to go. So what we wanna do first is we wanna come over to cPanel and we wanna scroll down and we wanna come in here to File Manager. So if I open File Manager, it's gonna open a page that looks something like this. So we're gonna come in here to Public HTML and in here you're gonna see this CGI bin folder. So right now I'm in the folder for my domain name, surfsidedigitalmarketing.com. So if I open up my domain, you can see surfsidedigitalmarketing.com. The one thing in there is the CGI bin folder. So what I wanna do is I wanna upload all of those files directly into this folder here. So since the primary domain on my account, so you're gonna see if I come back up here to the top, the primary domain on my account is surfsidedigitalmarketing.com. So in my file manager, in the public HTML folder, all the files here are what's gonna be making up my website. So I wanna come over here, I wanna upload files. So we're gonna click on select file here. And then what I wanna upload is this WordPress install file. So we're gonna take this one and we're gonna upload it. Okay, so our file is complete and it's uploaded now. So we're gonna come back here to public HTML and you're gonna see we have our WordPress install file.zip here. So we're gonna click on it and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on extract here. So you should have these options regardless of the web host that you use in your file manager. So we're gonna extract all of these, click on close and then what we can do is delete this file. So with the zip file we initially uploaded here, we're gonna delete it. So we're gonna click on delete, we're gonna skip the trash, permanently delete the files and click on confirm. Now the next thing you wanna do is this WP config sample file. We're gonna click on it and all we're gonna do is we're gonna rename it to just WP config. So we're gonna get rid of the first hyphen and then the sample here. So it's just gonna be WP hyphen config.php and we're gonna rename this file. Okay, so that's gonna be step one when we're installing WordPress is going to be downloading these files directly from wordpress.org slash download and then uploading them to our file manager in the folder for our website. One thing you might find is in your public HTML folder, if you have a separate website, you might have another folder here. So it might be something, for example, if I had Surfside PPC hosted on this server, then I might have a folder here that just says Surfside PPC. So then what you would wanna do is go into that folder and you would wanna upload your files there. However, we have ours all uploaded here. So the next thing we need to do is come back to our cPanel. So in our hosting account, hosting and cPanel, we have all these different options here. And what we wanna do is we wanna to scroll to the bottom to databases. So we're gonna keep going down. You're gonna see database tools right here. So we wanna open up this page, MySQL databases. So what we need to do next is create a database and a database user for our website. 
So we need to create a MySQL database, and you can see here MySQL databases are necessary to run many web-based applications such as bulletin boards, and WordPress is a content management system. So we need a database for our WordPress website, so we want to create a new database. So you can name it anything you want, so ours is going to start with our username here, and I'm just going to type in example. Okay, so we have our new database, we're going to click on create database, and it's really that simple to create a database. Added the database to our account so we can go back. Now the next thing we need to do is scroll down and you're going to see MySQL users. So we need to add a new user. So for username, what I'll do is just do keep this, if this is going to show up right here and I'm just going to enter username. Okay, so we have user here. The next thing you need to do is enter a password and you need to use a password that you're going to remember. So set up your username, set up your password and we're going to click on create user. Okay, now go back and all we need to do next is add the user to our database. So we have our database here, example, and we have our user here, user. So we need to add user to the example database and give this user all privileges. So when you click to add user, it's gonna say man manage user privileges. You just wanna select this box up here, all privileges, and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and click on make changes and you're gonna see success over here. So now we can go back and if we scroll to the bottom, what we're going to see is we have our current user added to our database. So what we want to do is we want to come back over here to file manager and you can keep this page open right here with your database and your user. So we're going to come back over to file manager and now the WP config file that we edited before and renamed, we're going to open this. So we're going to click on edit and we're going to click on edit again. Okay, and what you're going to see is MySQL settings. So it's going to be DB name, database name here, DB user, username here, and then the password that you set up for your user. So we're going to come over here to our database, and what we want to do is we're just going to copy the database name and come over to our file and just change the database name right here. So in between these two single quotes, we're going to enter our database name here. Next, we want to come over, and the next thing is to take our username. So take this username and then come over and we're going to enter the username here. Now the last thing you want to do is set up your password here. So what we can do is I'm just going to type in. So you want to enter whatever password you created for your user for that database, enter it here. So enter your password in this section and that's all we need to do and click on save changes. Okay, so now it's going to say success at the bottom. We can come back over to our file manager. Now keep in mind, if you didn't rename this file, it's not going to work properly. So you have to make sure you rename this file from wp-config sample to wp-config.php. Okay, so if we come back over to our website, you can see the only file we had in here was CGI bin. So let's just reload it real quick. And what you're going to see, it's going to take us to this page, surfsidedigitalmarketing.com or whatever your domain name is where you're installing WordPress, wp-admin install.php. So now we have to install WordPress and just finalize the process. So we have all of our files uploaded. We have our database created. So we're going to click on continue. Okay, so now you want to select a site title, a username, a password, and enter your email here as well. So we're going to enter our site title. Okay, so we have our site title here, we have our username, Surfside Digital, and we have our password. You need to make sure you remember your username and password for this step as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to install WordPress after you enter your email. So install WordPress. Okay, so now you can see success. WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. Here's our username, Surfside Digital, and password is our chosen password. So all we need to do here is click on login, enter our username, enter our password. You can click on remember me and then log in. Okay, so now it's going to say welcome to WordPress. If we open up our domain name, what we can see here is we're going to have a WordPress website all created. So Surfside Digital Marketing, just another WordPress site. If you're looking for some more information on setting up your WordPress website and everything involved with WordPress, you're going to see over here we have a WordPress tutorial for beginners that we recently published, 2019, 2020, how to create your first WordPress website. I'm hoping to do some more WordPress tutorials in the future, but this is a pretty simple process for how to install WordPress. So the step-by-step -step process you're going to find in this article here, this is essentially a video version. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.